in these problems we're being asked to rationalize the denominator and uh, this time with some higher roots so third roots and fourth roots uh, and we don't have two terms in the denominator so we're not going to use conjugates um, so uh, let's see how we go about this let's look at this first one we have the cube root of 5x to the 10th over 9w and I think the first step just to make this problem a little more clear is to separate this into the top and the bottom, the numerator and the denominator, because we want to be thinking about these two pieces separately. So this is the cube root of 5x to the 10th over the cube root of 9w. That's the same thing as the original problem. Now, let's look at that denominator, because what we need to do to rationalize the denominator is get rid of that radical sign and just have you know, plain old uh, numbers and variables there. Already, you can think of this denominator, this 9, as 3 squared. So I'm going to write it as a power of 3. And let's see, this is a cube root. And then I have w just to the first power. If I wanted to multiply this by something uh, to make it into a perfect cube, then I could take the, the cube root of it. I would multiply, well, it, I'd need to multiply it by 3, and then I'd have 3 to the third power here. I'd also need to multiply it by w squared to make this a w to the third power. So if under this radical sign it said 3 cubed w cubed, well, I'd just take the cube root of that, and I'd have 3w. We can accomplish that by multiplying the whole fraction by the cube root of 3w squared. So when I multiply across the bottom here, I'm going to end up with the cube root of 3 cubed w cubed. So that's why I chose to multiply by the cube root of 3w squared. Of course, we have to multiply by 1, so we're not actually changing the fraction. So on the top, we'll also multiply by 3w squared. And our top here is the cube root of 5x to the 10th. OK. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and do the multiplication. On the bottom here, I'm going to get the cube root of, well, 3 squared times 3 is 3 cubed. And w times w squared is w to the third. On the top, I'm going to get, well, let's multiply the numbers. So 3 times 5 is 15. And I've got w squared and I've got x to the 10th. All right, now let's do some simplification. The bottom's pretty easy. We have the cube root of two perfect cubes, so the bottom just becomes 3w. All right, now the top, we have, this is a w squared. Can't really take the cube root of a 15, can't take the cube root of w squared. However, there are groups of three x's in x to the 10th. In fact, there's three of them. So I can take out an x cubed, put that on the outside, and that leaves over just 1x. So this would become 15 w squared x. All right, let's try one more like that, because that's a lot of steps, and it can be confusing. The first step in this, well, we don't have to separate these into uh, separate radical signs on the top and bottom. They've already done that for us. And here we've got fourth roots. The first step here is really to think about what should I multiply the denominator by to get perfect fourths in here. And I think I'm going to start by rewriting the bottom as a power of 2. Well, and we already have it written as a power of 5. So this is a fourth root of, well, 8 is 2 cubed times y to the third. So I've got two third powers here. If I want to get them to be fourth powers, uh, so that I can take the fourth root easily, I just need one more 2 and one more y. So what I'm going to multiply by is the fourth root of 2y. And of course, I need to multiply the top by that as well, so that we're really multiplying by the number 1. And over here, I've got the fourth root of 125x. OK. Now, when we multiply across the bottom, we're going to have the fourth root of now 2 to the fourth power, y to the fourth power. That's great. On the top, we're going to have the fourth root 
of, well, 2 times 125 is 250. And then I have my x and my y, so 250 xy. All right, and simplifying the bottom, we're going to get just 2y. And let's see, the top, I don't think there's anything in there that I can take the fourth root of, not 250, certainly not just plain old xy. So we just leave that as it is, 250xy, the fourth root of 250xy over 2y is our answer. So that's a little bit of work with rationalizing denominators um, with these uh, higher roots.